Week 10 takes us back home to New York as our 5-3 Giants come off the bye to face the very much struggling 1-7 Texans. So, historically, the Texans have had one win against the Giants. They've lost four in a row since then as our Giants coming off the bye, scoring 10 points a season low against the Seahawks in Week 8, looking to get right back on track. Saquon Barkley had the worst game of his season. Naz, welcome back, Madden 23, episode 10. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, leave a like and subscribe. Leave your thoughts on this game in the comments. And as always, enjoy making these videos as coming off the bye. And it was a very bad game against the Seahawks on offense, but on defense, it's played a lot better as we take a look at Saquon Barkley and this Giants offense. 8.6 yards per attempt, 4.2 on the ground. It's, I mean, outside of Seattle, it's been really good. And this Texans defense, this pass defense, is a lot of completion percentage around 50% with seven interceptions, about as much as Trayvon Diggs has on the season alone. And the Giants offense needs to get back on track. The Giants defense did their job, actually played really well against the Seahawks. And against Davis Mills, hopefully they get back on track as the Giants won the coin toss to Ferd. And back deep for the Texans, and here we go. Gano sends us away. And Kenyon Drake will take a knee in the end zone, five yards deep. And here's Davis Mills, the eighth quarterback selected in 2021. You can see his stats so far on the year, pretty good. And But this offense has just not been good at all. Just dead last in passing, third worst in rushing, third worst in scoring. They drafted Kenyon Green, a really good guard. They have Brandon Cooks, they brought in T.Y. Hilton, Naeem Hines, O.J. Howard, Tyler Johnson. But it's just not clicked. That's first down, Mills will check it down. It's caught by Cooks, and for four he gets. And this Giants defense, it got a lot better. It felt really good against uh, Seattle. How it kind of clicked, you know, they gave up 23 points, but the offense had six turnovers. And hopefully with everyone getting healthy, I mean, Ojolari still has to miss a couple games. You can really start to see it come together. Second and six, it's Hines. And Bulls forward for a first down. He got six, first down. Opening drive of the game. And they're at the 35, and another handoff to Naheem Hines. He's a good block, and breaks a tackle. Oh, that's a well-earned 10 yards, and it's second down. An incredible effort, second and in inches. Hines is in the backfield still, but he's tired. And they'll throw underneath wide open is Brevin Jordan, the second-year tight end into Giants territory in a first down. Now it's third and four. From the Giants, 41. Trying to get points on this opening drive. Pressure on Mills, and the pass is put in the dirt. Intended for Naeem Hines, and out comes Kaimi Fairburn, who's missed two kicks already this year. Perfect on extra points is from 58. Can it hook back? It will, but it is short and no good. And out comes the Giants offense. And Jones coming off his fourth game with three interceptions. You just, they need to not turn the ball over. They had six turnovers in the loss at Seattle. You can see the numbers are still really good despite the very bad output against Seattle. Darius Slayton getting his second straight start at wide receiver. As this, just trying to look to put something together. And it was a it was a struggle to get yards and it really came with the running game. They shut down Saquon Barkley. He couldn't He's averaging 140 despite that game. And he couldn't even get to 90. That pass is broken up. Try to take a deep shot and it's incomplete. This Texans defense is incredible against the pass, but struggled against running backs. They have drafted Derek Stigley and Jalen Petre. It's just been an incredible secondary. It's just been the ground game as Jones loses four. It's third down. What? 28th run defense looks about the first. They're down in 14, and it is dropped by Galladay. It's fourth down to three and out to start the game, and the offensive struggles continue for the Giants. 
Texans take back over with motion by Hilton. And on second and four, they give it to Hines. Oh, he shows him off. First down and more. And the ball's on the ground and picked up. Darnay Holmes has it inside the 30. And Xavier McKinney forced it. And it's Giants football. Wow. So they take back over second and eight after a two-yard run by Saquon. Jones. No one's open and is sandwiched. A loss of nine as Jonathan Greenard. Fifth sack on the year. That was a half a sack. It's third and 17. Can't take a sack here. Pressure on Jones. Floats ahead. Oh, he's got it. Touchdown. He got away from the defense. 32 yards on third and 17. And the Giants strike first. Got they finally back in the end zone. And with this kick by Gano, that's seven points off the Naheem Hines fumble on a three-play 25-yard drive. Regali got 32 of them. Third and four. Texans get the ball right back. Pressure. Mills brought down. Another sack by Quincy Roche and another three and outs. And the Giants take back over. And a quick pass behind an incomplete for Galladay as Bellinger is slow to get up. We'll get an update on him at halftime. We'll see how he is faring. But for now, Tanner Hudson will come in at tight end. Third down and eight. Jones, sideline, open. Galladay, first down. And he has both of Daniel Jones' completions. He has 50 yards now. And first down from the 39. And range to score again. Hand off Saquon Barkley. Cuts it back. And another first for 11. Best run of the day by far. It's been a struggle so far. Third down and two. Four minute mark in the opening quarter. Barkley cuts it back again. Another cut and another first. Game of seven. And now third and nine. Bring everyone in tight. In the red zone, blitz is sent. Jones on the run, throws across his body. He's got Slayton in stride inside the five and he's got a first down at the two. Now they're starting to put it together. First and goal. Spread everyone out. Hand off Barkley into the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. And Barkley, another game with a touchdown. As the first drive that didn't result points, well, didn't get cost by a turnover. Gano is up and good. It's 14 0. And you can't script a better start to this game for the Giants. Gotten three stops on defense already, including a turnover, which has been a big problem. They haven't gotten takeaways. First and 10. Mills wants it all. Deep downfield, and he's got it. T.Y. Hilton. Wow. It was double covered. Love and Jackson couldn't get to him. 40 yards downfield. And it's third and 10. Mills hit his four of his first five passes. As Blitz is picked up, deep downfield, Hilton, out of bounds, incomplete. Now he's thrown three straight incompletions, and they'll bring out Fairburn, who missed from 58. In the same direction, this is from 60, and he shanked it. Wide left and no good. And another short field for the G-Men. And with the 60 seconds, a second and 10 from midfield. Jones brought down Molly Collins. A loss of four. His first sack, well, it's going to be a half sack on the year. And it's third and 14. Jones up the seam and in traffic. Caught and a first down. That's Tanner Hudson, the backup tight end. And that'll take us to the second quarter. Where we'll start with a second and four. Jones steps back. Now on the move, it gets sandwiched again. And it's Malik Collins again. And this is his first game with a full sack since week 17 of last year. It's third and eights. And Jones underneath. It's caught Galladay. Not going to get there. It's fourth down. And they're going to go for it. Of course, super aggressive on fourth down. No reason not to. Up 14. Barkley. Men in the backfield. And he powers forward at first down. What an effort. Now second and five. Jones all day, checks it down. It's Tanner Hudson, uppers down inside the 15. And Jones is over 100 yards passing. 
Now inside the 10, second and six. All over the backfield, Jones a pump. Now breaks the pocket, runs, lowers the shoulder, and is in for the touchdown. Daniel Jones. Wow, what an effort. And that's 21 nothing in a flash. Three straight touchdown drives for the Giants as Naheem Hines goes for six and Thibodeau is slow to get up, their best defensive player. And now their pass rushes down their top two starters, third and three. Underneath, it's caught by Cooks in the first down and they really needed that. It's first and 10. From near the 40. Mills, fires, intercepted! Dave Bilton's gonna take it the distance. Wow, touchdown. His first career pick is a pick six and the fourth round pick finds the end zone to put the Giants with this kick by Gano up 28-0. Boy, did they need this bounce back. First down for the Texans. Stepping back under pressure and down he goes. Micah McFadden. And that's all Giants, five minutes into the second quarter. My goodness, third and 24. They need the 35 to convert, and the blitz. Pressure coming, and it's gonna be caught by Howard. He gets rocked by Williams. The backup edge, and it's third, or a punt. And the Giants take over for the short field, second and seven. Jones on the move, breaks the pocket. Daniel Jones again, big run into Texans territory and out of bounds at the 33. He has 30 yards on the ground now. My goodness. This is a statement. Third down and five. And Jones, they try to run it to get some yards and it's fourth down. And Graham Gano will kick. It will stay a four possession game no matter the result of this kick, as it is hooking in and good. 31 0. That is five straight scoring drives. Five minute mark of the second quarter, third and seven for the Texans. And Mills has all day, stepping back in the pocket, firing to Howard over the head and incomplete. Mills 6 of 14, and the Giants take back over. Let's start with a handoff. Saquon. Saquon with a dive and. Nine as Sterling Shepard now slow to get up. We're gonna have a lot of updates to start this second half. Second and inches, hand off Barkley. And Barkley here first down. It's now second and four. Barkley again. Easy blocking, Saquon! To the 37. And another first. So first and 10. And a keeper, Daniel Jones. A lot of space. Jones inside the 30 and slides down at the 26. And possibly making it six straight scoring drive. Four receivers set on third and five. Jones fires behind and nearly intercepted. And that will bring on Gano. This will make it a five possession game. And it's good. 34-0. Well, we've reached the two minute warning. And uh, Texans are gonna have to do something. As Mills on the run, it's caught by Howard and a first down to the 42 and they'll call her first time out. Looking for any points. First down from the 42. Mills. Pressure throws all the way across his body. It's caught by Hines. Hines to midfield and has eight or nine and it's another timeout. And it's third and one. Mills, pressure coming. Mills hit late, but no flag and a punt. So Giants take back over a third and two. Jones hits, he's thrown, he's got a completion to Galladay and a timeout. The first down. Jones alone in the backfield. Four-man rush. Deep drop. Pressure. Hit as he's thrown. It's intercepted. Jalen Petre takes it into Giants territory. And Evan Neal brings him down to the 36. 
His third pick of the year, the second round draft choice. And they're in range to add points. Two tight ends and they'll motion Hines out of the backfield. We'll see nine seconds. Mills, fade, Hines has got it. Oh my, over Adoree Jackson. And they'll kick the three. Fairbairn is 0 for 2 today. But this is a chip shot from 32. And he connects, and we will head to the locker room. Well, I accidentally cut out the, uh, or skipped the cutscene, so we're just going to head straight to the second half. I apologize for that. Richie James, who fumbled the opening kickoff of the second half of last week, takes it to the 32, holds on this time. And we do have some updates. Sterling Shepard, Daniel Bellinger, and um, Kayvon Thibodeau all got injured as Saquon Barkley goes over 100 yards on the day gets hit at 45 they all got hurt in the first half they are all out for the rest of the game with their respective injuries first down Jones balls on the ground and Avenil falls on it Saunders forced it his first career forced fumble the former chief and it's third and 22 and he'll go alone in the backfield Jones fires offline and incomplete for Hudson So after seven straight scoring drives, Guffin starts to stall. Third and eight. Mills going deep downfield for Hilton. And the well didn't open up again as it's a three and outs. Now second down. Giants take back over. Jones has swarmed. Four Texans there. Malik Collins the first to get there. He, they credit him with a full sack. Fifth on the day for the Texans and it's third and 18. Jones throws it to Slayton. The hospital pass incomplete. And the Texans take back over, trying to get anything going. They go to the eye, second and seven. And up to Hines, and a missed tackle. Hines on the run. McKinney going for that ball. Trying to force his second fumble, and it's a first down near midfield. Second and nine. Mills. Running back on the run. Quincy Rose. He slips out of that and finally gets brought down by Dexter Lawrence. His sixth on the year, a career high, and it's third and 20. So they need the 42 of New York. Mills protected. Gonna fling it way downfield. Dorsett's down there. He's got it. Touchdown. 63 yards on third and 20. Split the defense. And the journeyman receiver is in for the touchdown. What a breakdown. This Giants defense has been playing so well, and all of a sudden, their first touchdown given up on the day is a huge play for the Texans. I mean, they're still down 24. That's, I mean, it does cut it down to three scores. As first down underneath, it's caught by Galladay. He'll get nine. Daniel Jones has been struggling with the completion percentage. Of course, we talked about how good this Houston defense was. Hand off to Barkley, cuts it back. Saquon Barkley fights for a first down. 126 yards, you can see where the strength of this defense is. Third down and six. Split backs, and they're gonna run it. Barkley, first down inside of Texans territory, inside the 40. And a big play, he's closing in 150. And now another third down, third and eight. And they're going to run it to keep it in field goal range. Gets tackled for a gain of two. And Gano has been perfect all, well, almost all year. From 52. Hooking to the middle and good. And it's back to a four score game. As we'll start with some play action over the middle. It's caught by Hines on the run. Naheem Hines, a first down. And Davis Mills over 200 yards. Or says yards feel irrelevant. And then you consider the score. Second and seven. Pressure by Mills and caught by Dorsett. And he's starting to become a menace. Now they're on the move. Final two minutes of the third quarter. Second and ten. Blitz is sent and picked up. Mills on the run. Throws it away. And there's a late flag. And a rare slip up on back-to-back -back drives by the Giants defense who's played outstanding today. And outstanding really for the last two weeks now. 
really containing the Seahawks and now the Texans, second and six. Wide open, it's caught by Dorsett, and he really is becoming a thorn in their side. It's first and 10 at the 11. So first down. Marlon Mack is the running back to the right of Mills, and he gets the call. Met by Lawrence, and to the line of scrimmage he goes, and we've reached the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter begins. A 27-point game here in New Jersey. And they're going to give it to Naheem Hines. Breaks off a tackle by Robinson and earns all four of those yards. It's third down. I actually give him, yeah, they give him four. Third and six. Those will throw. Four-man rush. Throws end zone. Caught touchdown. T.Y. Hilton. Welcome back to the NFL. A signature celebration. And just like that, it's a three-score game once again. This kick by Fairburn, it's a 20-point affair. It's 37-17. Of course, the game is in hand. You would like to see the defense. All the starters are still out there. You'd like to see them put on some stops. It's been so good, it's hard to criticize. As Saquon Barkley, you can't criticize him. 16 yards in the first down. A first down at the 41. Barkley, unstoppable, into Texans territory, a stiff arm and down to the 42. The big game for Saquon had his worst game of the year, had a less than 100 yards. He's been averaging outside of, you know, even including as Daniel Jones on third and two finds sling. You know, even if you include the Seattle game, he's been averaging 140 yards per game on the ground. And he had under 100 as Jones... On the outside, great block by Galdi. Touchdown. We're talking about the running game by Barkley. Daniel Jones, a two touchdown performance. The first of his career since his first career start against Tampa Bay. Graham Gano makes it a 27 point game as it's 44 to seven. They dropped another 40 bomb. Wow. You know all that talk about Struggle Saquon Barkley had, and they've just been incredible today. Screen pass on third and ten. It's Naheem Hines, and they'll set up a shorter fourth down as Leonard Williams tackles him. Fourth and seven. Need it here to keep the game going. Naheem Hines in motion. So Mills will be along the backfield. Two tight ends. Mills five. Wide open is Hines. Adore Jackson blue coverage. Can he get to the end zone? No, he's down to the 11. A big mix-up. And a big play results. Naheem Hines over 100 yards through the air. Martin like Mack on first down. We'll take it to the five. Starting to really give up yards. See if they can hold him out of the end zone. They've been struggling to do that too. Naheem Hines. Maybe a yard. And it's third down. And Hines is tired again. Third and three. Mills is protected. Pressure coming. Throws to the end. So knocked away by Jackson. And it's fourth and goal. Sorry, not fourth and goal. They get a first down at the one. The other top two edges. Mills fires. End zone intercepted. Picked off by Darnay Holmes. And another turnover for this Giants defense. Second of the year. That's as a career high. And the Giants take back over. A third and six. Underneath. And that's caught by Wandale Robinson. We talked about how he can get more involved. Maybe get him some snaps and with Shepard out. Let's see if his injury is concerning. They're going to go for it on fourth down, by the way. Extra offensive lineman in. Fourth and inches. A sneak in the first. We're, we're going to see if Shepard has to miss some time. I don't think he does. But we'll see if you know, Wandale can get some snaps. Third and 12 offline and incomplete. That could have been picked. So final five minutes of this game. And Mills will start along the backfield from across midfield. Short punt, short drive. Mills, 360, fires. Dorsett's got it to the 16. Man, he's been a problem. Third and nine. They can get a first down at the... Six yard line in the red zone again. Hand it to Mack. And Marlon Mack, a great tackle by Darnay Holmes and McFadden. And it's fourth down, and they're going to go for it. 
So fourth and six. Uh, approaching the two minute warning. Marlon Mack still in there at running back. A chip on Roche. Protection on Mills. Has all day. Pushes to the turf. Throws. End zone. Intercepted. Panic gets it. Breaks the tackle. And Dorsett brings him down. His first career interception. The former fifth round pick of last year. And that should do it. Just a first down here. Third and eights. They need the third, uh, 23. Jones steps up in the pocket. Jones is going to run. Lowers the shoulder. And the ball's on the ground. And picked up. And an unnecessary turnover. Danny Trevathan, the former Bear, forces it. And here we go. See if the Texans can build on it. Third to the sideline at the 17 and out of bounds at the 8. And first down to O.J. Howard. And it's goal to go again. So can the Texans put up 20? Be a great showing by the Tex or the Giants defense if they can't. That pass is dropped by Mack. And you have to wonder if Hines is hurt because it's been all Marlon Mack the last couple of drives. From the 8-yard line, 42 seconds remain. Mills. Pressure. And drops. Quincy Roche. His first full sack. And they're going to hurry to the line. Third and goal. 20 seconds remaining. From the 22. End zone shot. It is. Knocked in the air and incomplete. And one final play. 22 yards from a 20-point game. Fourth and goal. 16 seconds. Mills. Pressure. And thrown away. And that will do it. A statement win for the New York Giants as they move to 6-3 on the year and beat the Texans, who are now 1-8, 44-17. I mean, I don't, uh, I can't think of a better game that our, um, our, we could have played. I mean, 44-17. Obviously, the offense went quiet in the second half, and that dumb fumble to end the game, I should have just slid. I just wanted to get the first, have a nice highlight with Daniel Jones, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. It was incredible. Obviously, Naheem Hines was a problem. 4.6 a carry, 113 yards through the air. Most of that was a broken play. I'll admit it. So, we gave up a lot of yards. We actually got outgained. Gave up 300 passing yards. Only 90 rushing yards. The run D has been playing a lot better. Um, the defense in general has been playing a lot better. Under 20 points, I believe, for the first time this year. Um, and again, Saquon Barkley... Simply an MVP performance for someone who should be in the MVP conversation. Um, the jo game by Daniel Jones was not good at all. <laughs> 12 for 20. I mean, that's about the worst 44-point performance you can ever have from a quarterback. But I guess when we get four turnovers, which has been a problem for the defense, they got the turnovers. It really helps. We do have two injuries... And I was wrong. I thought Sterling Shepard, I thought it was going to be Bellinger and uh, Thibodeau that were out for multiple games. No, it's Shepard and Bellinger. Thibodeau will be good to go next week. Shepard out for three games with an upper arm fracture. Bellinger out for four with broken ribs. So it could be Tanner Hudson and Wandale Robinson, maybe some Colin Johnson. But I don't think Kazarius Tony has a future with this team. Maybe we'll get him involved. If he stops dropping, I'll get some more snaps. We do have some upgrades. Saquon Berkeley up to an 85. Dane Belton up to a 67. Evan Neal up to a 77. Josh Azudu up to a 67. And Tay Crowder up to a 66. And now on to games across the league. Let's head to Philadelphia. Divisional action. They'll face the Washington Commanders. Let's start a second and 20. And Curtis Samuel goes for 28 yards. They got a field goal. It is 3-0 early on. Watch the Eagles in the last couple games. It's been mostly... Field goals, not touchdowns, as Miles Sanders busts off a big one on the through the air. 23 yards, and it's tied at three. How about that? Incredible reception as Carson Wentz. Well, look at what Dak Prescott is, but it's currently a race between him and Dak. Who can throw the most interceptions? That was number 23 on the year, a third and five. How about Dak Pascal, 22 yards? They somehow can't find the end zone. They actually go push back to the 16. 9-3. They got interception number one. Interception number two. Kaiser White. An interception takes it into Commander's territory. And it's now 12-3. But this Commander's defense not allowing touchdowns. Now how about a drive before half and a prayer to Devontae Smith. 21 yards. It's 15-3 at halftime. The second half begins. 
And how about a catch Curtis Samuel just like the first half began. 13 yards. And it's now 15 to 6. Still haven't seen this touchdown. We're halfway into the third quarter. How about a wide open throw to uh, Zach Paschal. And they add another field goal. It's 18 to 6. Now we saw two interceptions by Carson Wentz. Here's number three. C.J. Gardner-Johnson with a big run back of 21 yards and it's a 21 to 6 and the Eagles haven't scored a touchdown. Surely we'll get a touchdown and finally we do with four minutes in the fourth quarter. Terry McLaurin makes it a one score game. It's 21-13. They kick the PAT on. Go for two. And now one last chance. Carson Wentz throws interception number four to seal the game. Darius Slay takes it down the end zone. And the Eagles beat the Commanders 21-13 despite not scoring a single touchdown. Now to Green Bay as the Packers play the Cowboys. And how about Dalton Schultz? The Cowboys lead 7-0. Well, we've been talking about it's been the Dallas offense has been struggling a lot recently as the defense has become locked down. Michael Gallup, a 16-yard reception. It's 10-0. And they're not done yet. We're into the second quarter. And Dalton Schultz put, or Jake Ferguson, I'm sorry, the other tight end with a seven yard score, puts the Cowboys up three scores. It's 17 0. The Packers' offense was shut out in the first half. Rashawn Gary puts the points on the board as a safety. It's 17 2. Well, Aaron Rodgers finally, the second play of the second half, finds Sammy Watkins. We finally get some points on offense. It's 17 5 with a 29 yard catch. But the Cowboys offense isn't done yet. Dalton Schultz, 24 to five. I mean, what a score. Packers trying to get something going. Aaron Rodgers with a beautiful throw to Randall Cobb. 35 yards, they had a field goal, it's 24 to eight. That's technically a two score game. And they take advantage of that. Two minute warning, Aaron Rodgers, contested catch, Sammy Watkins. They go for two and get it. It's 24-16, and now the Packers have a chance. And last chance, they take a jump ball in. Trayvon Diggs calls game. An interception, second on the day, and the Cowboys beat the Packers 24-16. And now on to the rest of the scores on Thursday Night Football. The Panthers beat the Falcons 24-10. On the Sunday slate of games in Germany, the Buccaneers blow out the Seahawks in the United States. The Bills blow out the Vikings. The Lions upset the Bears. The Chiefs win a shootout against the Jaguars. The Dolphins win a shootout against the Browns. The Steelers beat the Saints. The Titans upset the Broncos. The Raiders upset the Colts. The Rams shut out the Cardinals in a blowout. The Chargers blow out the Niners on Sunday Night Football 42-21. And now on to standings in the AFC North. The Bengals lead 7-2 in the South. The Colts 8-2 in the East. The Bills are 6-3 and in the West. The Chargers take a lead 7-2. And the NFC North Packers, despite the loss, still 8-2. South is still a tie between the Panthers and Bucks at 6-4. And, and in the East, Eagles still lead 7-2. And, and in the West, Rams retake the lead. They're 6-3 with that shutout over the Cardinals. For players of the week in the AFC, Teddy Bridgewater in the win against Cleveland. 354 yards, 4 touchdowns, a 145 pass rating. And in the NFC, Matt Stafford, 344 yards, 6 touchdown passes. And the 45-0 win against the Cardinals. For defense in the AFC, Cam Hayward, three sacks and five other tackles for the 31-21 win against New Orleans. And in the NFC, Sean Murphy bunting five tackles, three pass deflections, two picks, including a pick six in the win against Seattle. For leaders, Aaron Rodgers takes the lead, 3,057 passing yards. He also takes the lead with 27 touchdowns over Joe Burrow and Carson Wentz, four interception performance. Zach Prescott didn't throw a single interception. So Wentz now takes the lead, 26 picks through 10 games. I don't even I don't even think they had their bye yet. For rushing, Saquon Barkley up to 1,308 yards. Kamara, 15 touchdowns. Derrick Henry, 67 broken tackles. Receiving De uh, Stephon Diggs, 981 yards. Touchdowns, Cooper Cup, 13. And Coop, um, also 410 after the catch. Wrapping things up with the defense, Shaq Thompson up to 97 tackles, looking like he'll be the first to 100. Sacks with Max Crosby up to 14. Uh, Kayvon Thibodeau breaks his sack streak and is more importantly out of the top three in interceptions. Trayvon Diggs with nine. Week 11 NFL action kicks off with Thursday Night Football. 
between the Titans and Packers. The Sunday slate of games kicks off with Bears, Falcons, Panthers, Ravens, Bronze Bills, Commanders, Texans, Eagles, Colts, Jets, Patriots, Rams, Saints. We play the Lions, Raiders, Broncos, Chiefs, Chargers, Cowboys, Vikings, and on Sunday Night Football, the Bengals play the Steelers, and on Monday night, the Niners play the Cardinals. Buccaneers, Jaguars, Dolphins, and Seahawks are all on their bye. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment on how you think this game went, and I'll see you next time when we face the Detroit Lions.